In this video, we explore the concept of network speeds. So the first thing to understand is that network speeds are measured in bits per second. So here we can see the source computer at 10, 15 and 56 seconds, and it's sending 10 individual bits which arrive at the destination computer by 10, 15 and 57 seconds. So this has a transmission rate of 10 bits per second. Now clearly data transfer speeds are typically far faster than this. So we tend to use measurements such as one kilobit per second. So that's a thousand bits, one megabit per second, which is a million bits per second, and one gigabit per second, which is a billion bits per second. Now in the exam, you need to be able to construct expressions involving file size, transmission rate, and time. And there's an important couple of things to note here. Firstly, network data transmission speeds are measured in bits per second, and they use the international system of units. So one kilobit is a thousand bits per second, not a thousand and twenty four. And that's really important to understand. Whereas data storage and capacity is measured in bytes. So one byte is eight bits. One kibibyte is 1024 bytes. To calculate the time it would take to transmit a file over a network, you must first convert both the network speed and the file size into bits. And then you can use the formula time taken equals size of the file in bits divided by the network speed in bits. So let's actually work through an example and see how this would work. At the top of the note paper there, it says, how long will it take to transmit a 1.5 megabit file given a network speed of 50 kilobits per second? So first let's convert the speed into bits. So that's 50 kilobits a second times 1000 bits per kilobit, giving us 50,000. So now we need to convert the size of the file into bits. So we have a 1.5 megabyte file times that by 1024, because it's 1024 kibibytes per megabyte. We times that number by 1024, because there are 1024 bytes per kibibyte. And finally, we times that number by eight, as there are eight bits per byte. And this gives us an approximate file size of 12.5 million bits. Now we can perform the simple calculation, size of file in bits, that's 12.5 million, divided by the network speed in bits, which is 50,000. And it gives us approximately 251.7 seconds. So it's gonna take that long to transmit a 1.5 megabyte file across a network which has a speed of 50 kilobits. Now in the exam, you are not allowed to use a calculator, but don't fear as you're not gonna be asked to do the actual calculation that we've just worked through in the exam. Exam questions will be written something like this. Construct an expression to show how many seconds it will take to transmit 1.5 megabits of data using a network transmission speed of 50 megabits per second. And the important bit here is the construct an expression phrase. So your answer to the question could look something like this. Bits to transfer divided by bits per second, or 1.5 times 1024 times 1024 times eight. So that's the number of bits to transfer divided by 50 times 1000, because we had 50 kilobits of transfer speed. So we've summarized the concepts from this slide, including the various network speeds and the formula at the bottom. Pause the video and take some notes.
Thank you.